Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna do my March bullet journal theme. I hope you enjoy my really um, on theme outfit today, including my cute little beanie, because today my bullet journal theme is going to be based on skiing. So I did post a TikTok earlier today asking for theme ideas, but in all honesty, I actually already decided what I wanted to do. I wanted to see if anyone had an idea that stuck out to me a little bit more than this one, but I decided to just go with my gut and do the one that I thought of last week. You all know that I like to do really like on theme or topical bullet journal themes for either things that are happening in the world or things that are happening in my life. And in March this year, I'm going skiing with my family, so I am excited to do an on theme skiing bullet journal theme. We have been planning this trip for a while, but the thing that actually made me think of wanting to adapt it into a bullet journal theme is I was listening to the, I think it's an EP by Young Gravy and Dylan Francis called I think it's called Snow Cougar. Oh, what is it called? Let me look it up really quick. It's called Cake and Cognac. Um, it's an EP by Young Gravy and Dylan Francis, and the cover of it, I'll put a picture of it on the screen, is this really beautiful vintage illustration of some skiers. And I always feel like Young Gravy has like the coolest way of incorporating really vintage sounds like he samples a lot of old songs but also all of his cover art is like a cool mishmash of like modern day style but with really vintage aesthetics anyway i've seen before online and out in the real world really beautiful very iconic and streamlined illustration of skiing and ski resorts. I've seen so many beautiful posters that really like play on classic illustration styles that people still use for ski resorts nowadays and I pinned a bunch of those to my Pinterest board so I'll definitely make sure to show you what they look like. I thought it would be a great thing to base the bullet journal theme on because it's something that I've admired from a, for a really long time um, and of course it is now topical since I'm going skiing with my family. I would definitely stay tuned to watch the rest of the video because if you haven't seen one of my journal with me videos before I usually will put over the like fast forwarded footage of me actually drawing in my journal I'll usually just chit chat in a voiceover about different things that are happening in my life or that are related to the journal theme or fun stories stuff like that because I like these videos to be a little bit more like vlog style um, than like an instructive tutorial on how to draw kind of thing. Occasionally I will put stuff like that in if I have like something specific to talk about, but usually I just like to be chatty. And I know a couple things that I want to talk about in this video are, well, skiing, of course, because it's relevant, but also I thought it would be a funny time to tell you the story of how I met Young Gravy because his album art was the thing that inspired me to do this theme, so I will tell you that little story in a voiceover. So I did make a little Pinterest board on my Pinterest to go through some of the reference images that I pulled to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So I will take you over there and show you what I'm talking about. So here is my little Pinterest board. I made this last week while I, when I first thought of that Young Gravy cover and I want to show you the Young Gravy cover also because it was the thing that really reminded me of this whole style of illustration. This is the cake and cognac cover that I was talking about. I love the way that these whites and blues really play off of each other and obviously the skiers are so cute they're like all wearing little bathing suits but it reminded me of the style of illustration that I love and I've seen so many times that it's so like vintage retro classic looking but it's something that I feel like is immortalized I don't know if you've ever been to a ski resort before but I feel like ski resorts they almost feel like you could be there and it could be any year. You're like, I don't know what year it is. I feel like this place hasn't been updated since like the 70s. Stuff looks old, but it still looks cool. So I love that kind of immortal aspect of the ski aesthetic. And so here's a bunch of posters that I pinned for that theme. So the first things that I wanted to pin were actual posters. Like I love this one. It has some beautiful layout of those, like just two blue tones and like the creamy white tone for the snow. I really want to incorporate like a really simple color palette like this into my theme where the backgrounds are really just like two blues and a white and then whatever icons that are on it are maybe a little bit more co colorful but still like kind of primary colors. I love this one. This one's really cool looking. Same here like very simple blocky illustration style but very dynamic still. This one is cool. This is like a um, Colorado map of different 
um, ski resorts. I really, really like this one. This was a very specific image that I had seen before as well. I've seen lots of different artists do a image like this before where it's just white background, just the skiers and their shadows. Um, I feel like it looks so cool every time. I actually pinned a couple of different things like this. Like here's another one. This one's a little bit more abstract because it uses like the white of the crinkled paper um, as the snow. Here's one that is cool. They used a pink instead of white for the snow, which I like too. It like is a little bit different. I just pinned so many like serious ski posters. Like I really, this one is like one of my favorites and this one is so cool too. This one is what I was talking about with the primary colors. Like I definitely want to incorporate something like that where it's very simple. This one is so sick. Just the skier and that slick snow with the bright blue. I like stuff like this too that incorporate like a gondola or a chairlift. This one is just a sick ass poster. I probably would not recreate this in my journal, but it's just fucking cool. And then I pinned all four of these at once. These, I really like how these two use really geometric shapes um, to create the movement. And uh, same with this one, honestly, but they're just cool. I also pinned a couple of things that are like, I mean, they don't even really do this anymore, but like a chairlift tag. Like these ones are cool. These are all kind of vintage looking chairlift tags that you would like put on your coat. I feel like that could be a cool thing or an illustration page or to use as headers because they're just cool looking. These are more chairlift tickets. The last thing that I pinned were just a bunch of fonts that I like. I knew I wanted to do something that was graphic, old, and retro looking. So I pinned like these four. We're going to be my main font and then I also wanted to have something that's a little bit more scripty and this one I, I like too is kind of what I was thinking of. So those are my Pinterest pin ideas that I had. I already did some sketching last night so I'm gonna pop in the clip of when I was sketching last night and show you what I did then I will continue working on it today. I'm so excited! Hi everyone it's me from my hair is literally unhinged right now. It's me from the evening before. I know I mentioned in the intro, I already did some work on it tonight. I will show you what I have here, but I just designed the divider page. I knew I kind of wanted to have some extra time to work on this because I like had this vision in my brain, but I wasn't sure how I was going to execute it. And I really wasn't sure about like layouts or anything. So I did some sketching on like a piece of scratch paper. So here is my little sketch piece of paper. Usually I would have done this just in my actual sketchbook, but it's upstairs and I decided I wanted to work downstairs today and I didn't bring it down here. So why would I go back up and down the stairs for no reason? So. so I did these little thumbnails. I had two different ideas. One of them was gonna be a more close-up image of a skier, like skiing down a hill, kind of like portrait style, like it would be on like a postcard or something, kind of like an action shot. The other one is a really far away shot of a slope where like everything is white and you just see the skiers and snowboarders like here and like little shadows and maybe some trees in between them. I really like the idea, but I felt like it wasn't going to be very visually stunning for divider, but I'm definitely going to use that either like as the header for my calendar page or on my like habit tracker page because I really like the idea of that. So I decided to do this one for the divider page and this was my bigger sketch of it. Everything is at an angle like this, like have a hair lift here, the slope going down at an angle like whatever the hair and scarf whooshing behind going in that same angle and then also having the text down here in this white space because the snow is going to be white. And I wanted the back sky color to be a bright, bright, maybe even like kind of dark blue color to really contrast the bright white of the snow. And so I did a couple different sketches of skiers. This is the one that I ended up kind of going with. And then I wrote out some of the fonts that I was looking at and I ended up, I thought these two were a little bit too like outer space y and not like retro vintage. So I actually ended up picking this one. I like this one too, but um, I think this one is a little bit more condensed, which I like. And I decided to do a little tagline. You know, sometimes I like to do puns as the name of the month in the journal. So this one I'm doing March to the Mountains. So here's my sketch in my actual journal. I think we're gonna leave it. Okay, so I started working on the line art for the divider page. I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do for this because a lot of the reference images that I was looking at didn't utilize line art at all um like it was just blocky color shapes and I've always wanted to do something like that but I'm kind of intimidated by it because I feel like the medium that I work in like markers on like a journal page I don't think that they would lend very well to something like that because I mean you guys can tell when I like draw with markers they're very like streaky like you can see a lot of the texture um and I always just want it to be very punchy 
and like popping off the page and I feel like using line art helps with that especially with like the streakiness of the line art anyway then I just picked out my colors I pretty much already knew what I wanted to do for the color palette so it wasn't very hard for me to pick out what markers I wanted to use I pretty much just used the two blue colors for the background and then I used like a green an orange a yellow and a red for everything else and then brown for the hair um but that was pretty much it all the colors that I used I did only do the line art for the character and for the text and I did no line art for the background and I think that it actually really worked in that case just because I was doing such simple colors um but I think it really also helped to like bring the character out instead of kind of fading into the background which I liked um but yeah while we're here, we can chit-chat about skiing. Um, so I do come from a ski family. I know some people are intimidated by ski families in the same way they're intimidated by people who do like a turkey trot on Thanksgiving. My family is not one of those families, but we are a ski family. Um, it's really my dad who is loves skiing so much. He learned when he was an adult, which is already like a crazy thing to do. Learning how to ski as an adult is so hard and I don't think if I if I hadn't learned when I was a child I don't think I would have been able to pick it up as an adult because it's really really hard um but yeah my dad is a huge into skiing and he it like advocates for my family to go skiing together every year because he loves it um so I do have two brothers I don't know if I've ever talked about them in a video before um but they have both I mean they both learned skiing first and then when they were like in probably middle school age both of them transitioned to snowboarding I never made the transition I'm still a skier um and I enjoy skiing because I don't like falling down um I know that's stupid because you're gonna fall down and I do fall down sometimes too but snowboarding you like have to fall down and skiing you don't have to like if you want to stand up you can stay up um but yeah that, that's my thing about skiing okay so my camera's battery's gonna die I need to charge it I also need to go back to work for my job but this is my beautiful divider page finished I I'm obsessed. I feel like this isn't exactly like what I thought it was going to look like, but I really, really like how it turned out. I feel like this like background art style of the trees and the mountains really alludes to that original art style that I showed in my references. The stylization of the figure is very my style, so I feel like it's a good mishmash of that. I also added in this little white border around the whole thing because I wanted it to kind of look like a postcard, which is also why I feel like this text and these like little stars work so well. But yeah, the sun is going down. I might pick back up the camera and film some more tonight if I decide to like do the little header here and maybe be like my habit tracker header page but for now i need to let my battery charge see you next time okay i feel like i have to tell a young gravy story because it's relevant to this so the story is that in 2022 my boyfriend and i and my roommate at the time and her boyfriend had gone to see young gravy and dylan francis in concert they were actually on the tour for that cake and cognac ep um we went it was kind of a joke but it was actually really good the show was amazing <laughs> but that was on a Saturday. The next day was Super Bowl Sunday. My boyfriend and I were watching the Super Bowl and we decided that we wanted to get chicken wings. Um, but So we tried to order them from the Buffalo Wild Wings that was near my apartment. But that one, it was like in the middle of the city. So they were maxed out on taking orders because it was Super Bowl Sunday, clearly. So we ended up having to order the wings from a Buffalo Wild Wings that was really far away from my apartment. But we were like, it's fine. We'll just drive there. So we drove. And the whole weekend, we kept having this running joke where anytime we would see a tall guy that had blonde hair, we kept being like, oh, it's Young Gravy, because we were seeing him and we thought it was funny. But, so we're pulling into the parking lot of this Buffalo Wild Wings in the middle of nowhere that is in a strip mall, and there's a tall guy with blonde hair walking through the parking lot with a friend. And we're, I was like, oh, it's Young Gravy. And then we're pulling closer to him, and I'm like, wait, babe, I, I think that's actually Young Gravy. Like, I think it is. And we pulled up really close to him, and I looked at his face, and it was him. I was like, that's so crazy. We're pulling into a parking spot, and he's going into the Buffalo Wild Wings that we ordered food from. So we get out of the car, and we're like, oh my god, I can't believe he's here. So we're waiting. We go inside. We're waiting for the order to be ready. And there's like a one really large party in the back, and we were sitting there looking around waiting and my boyfriend was wearing a hoodie that he had bought at the concert the night before that was a Dylan Francis hoodie and Young Gravy and his friend walked by us and he pointed at my boyfriend's sweatshirt and he said hey nice sweatshirt 
and my boyfriend was like oh thanks and I said we were at your show last night it was so good like we really liked it and he was like oh that's so nice of you do you guys want to take a picture together and we were like yes um so I'll put the picture on the screen it was crazy and we realized later that I think that they had probably bought out like the entire space because it was like his entire entourage like the whole crew from the concert like all those people so it was like they were the only people in the entire place um but that's the story of how we met him and I love to tell people that story because he's really the only celebrity that I've met other than Victoria Justice I told that story in a video a really long time ago um but it's really funny and now I feel like I just have to be a Young Gravy ride or die fan we saw him again last year at Lollapalooza um and honestly like his set was so good like I'm not even joking he's such a great performer you know so many of his songs even if you think you don't and I don't know it was really fun and seeing him again at Lollapalooza was like so much fun so that's my my little story about meeting Young Gravy and my connection to the iconic Cake and Cognac EP Hi everyone, it's the next day. My camera SD card was full last night, right when I was finishing the last page that I was working on on camera, so I'll show you how it looks now, because I think it was just the last like five minutes I was working on it, it cut off, but I cleared my SD card, and I only have two more pages to do. I also last night sketched my little habit tracker header page, and oh my god, it's so cute. I'm so excited to show you. I'm also really excited to color it. I wanted to like actually finish it last night, but I was like, no, nah, I need to let be filming it because it's too cute and not be selfish and just do it right now not on camera and then I have to do my little illustration I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do for that yet but I will show you what I have now so also first I just filmed a TikTok about this I know in my last video I showed me making this Ares Tour surprise song bingo um and I just made a TikTok like updating about what it looks like now because I've been crossing out all the songs for all of the Julia shows and these mashups that Taylor Swift is doing on tour are crazy the other night she did would've could've should've and Ivy and if you know me those are like two of my true god tier favorite Taylor Swift songs like top five favorite songs which that was crazy of her this is the moments page that I was working on I like how it turned out it's super cute I like to switch out whatever it says right here if there's like a more themed word that goes to the theme. So here I wrote the peaks instead of like moments or highlights or whatever. And I just did another illustration. I guess it's the same character. She's wearing kind of a different outfit in this one, but I think it's really cute how it turned out. And I love the way those mountains look. I also used my really light blue marker here to like fill in every other line. Usually I feel like that really helps like visually divide it because sometimes when it's just like one big chunk of white, and a bunch of writing on top it's kind of hard to like stay on the same line so that usually actually helps with reading for me but this is my little sketch that I did for my header I wanted to do a little collection of a bunch of lift tickets I know I showed some reference pictures for stuff like this online and I, I tried to like emulate some of the real lift tickets that I saw online and I did it where like each one is different words this says habits and goals um, and then I also wanted to do these are like little embroidered patches like for like a ski club this one's for like a pass um, and I think it's gonna be really cute and I kind of want each one to be like a different color because this is very like I don't know color blocky design so like this one will be yellow one will be orange one will be green almost like they're four different mountain resorts which I feel like is cool so we're gonna do that okay so here is me doing the line out for the little header of my page really cute here I used the same technique that I've done before I've talked about in a couple of recent videos where I used two different sizes of like fine liner tips for this where I use a bigger one for the outline shapes of each thing and then a smaller tip just to do the details on the inside I feel like it really helps to like separate out the shapes visually and also not get your eye confused on like the important information which is the words and then the less important information which is like the little details that are on there stuff like that um but then i just picked out individual colors for each one and i wanted to make sure each little lift ticket tag was its own color so they really like stood out from each other and didn't get like muddled in together i did do a couple of colors on the little ski patches that i put in the background but it's okay i think they all look really cute um but yeah I was going to say also, I something that I really love about skiing is opre ski, and I feel like most of the girlers will understand that that's the best part of skiing, which is like when you get off of the hill, you shower. It's like when you're at the beach and you get to shower and like go out to dinner and feel so good at, at being like tanned and stuff. 
same thing with skiing it's like you get off the hill you may be a little bit sore but you can shower you can get in the hot tub you can get all cozy watch a movie drink some beers go to eat dinner somewhere at a cozy lodge somewhere it's like the best part of skiing is all the things that you do when you're skiing when you're not actually actively skiing that's the best part Anyway, here is my illustration page that I was doing. I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do, but I wanted to include either like a chairlift or a gondola imagery because I feel like they're very iconic looking and I hadn't illustrated one yet so far in any of these spreads. So I drew two little characters hanging out in the gondola together going up the hill. And I also wanted to make this one kind of like a poster for a resort or a postcard. So I added in another tagline down there that says Ski Colorado. Also with the beautiful mountain imagery in the background because I really had so much fun drawing that by the way this was like such a zen thing to draw if you want to like have something to like zone out and like that's very therapeutic to draw I definitely recommend trying these mountains because they're really easy and therapeutic and they just feel good to draw Hey guys, I finished my journal. I'm gonna show you. All the pages look super cute and I'm really happy with how it turned out. So of course, here's my cute little divider page. I already showed you guys this one, guys, this one, but I love how it turned out. The colors are exactly what I really wanted out of these spreads. Here is my calendar and my illustration page. I love this little header here, all of the little skiers on the slopes, and my cute illustration of the gondola. I feel like the colors really work here too by like making that gondola pop and be bright with all so the blue mountains in the background is really pretty. Here is my final little habit tracker and goals page. I love how that one turned out too. I think this is like my favorite. Honestly, both of these are so cute to me. I love how they both turned out. I love how all the lift tickets really highlight all the different colors that I picked for the color palette. They just look really cute and like they're actually sitting on the page there. And then of course my little moments page. That's my journal. So that is my full bullet journal theme for March 2024. I hope you enjoyed hanging out and watching this video, watching me make my bullet journal theme. If you want to see more from me and more of my bullet journal, definitely follow me over on Instagram and on TikTok, where I post a lot more frequently, more casually. But I'm always posting stuff about journaling, about my life, about other art and creative endeavors, crafts, stuff like that. So definitely follow me over on there if you're interested in any of that. But thanks so much for watching. Bye!